guys. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to take a moment to acknowledge Breast Cancer Awareness Month and let those people who have been affected by it know that my thoughts and prayers go out to you. I made it a little known today that I think that you will want to share with somebody who has been affected by breast cancer. She's super cute. She's got little pigtails, little boots. She's got a little hand warmer. If you want to know how to make her, stick around. i show you how. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Okay, for this one, you're going to go ahead and cut your pattern out, and you're going to go ahead and take your fabric, fold it over on facing sides together, and then we're just going to glue up one side. And I've given you below a listing of all the supplies that I used. I made this live, and I didn't do ahead of time um, planning, so I just kind of made this as I went along. And then go ahead and cut the top off, but go ahead and cut a full inch off, because I'm going to cut another part of this off here in a little bit. Then turn it inside out, or right side out, and go ahead and put it up over your cone. Now this is where I figured out I needed to cut a little bit more, so the dress would come down a little bit farther. Then we're going to go ahead and take some ribbon, and I'm just going to go ahead and glue this all the way around. I got this ribbon on Amazon. And they have a lot of different breast cancer awareness ribbon. And just go ahead and we're just going to glue all the way around the bottom of it. And this is just making the little dress. Okay, next we're just going to go ahead and put it back over the cone, pull it on down. And then we're going to go ahead and cut the hat. Now this is an eight and a half by nine and a half inch piece. And I'm going to go ahead and pin it because it is pretty thick and it'll stay together better this way. Just line it up and get it in there pretty quick. And then we're going to come up two inches from the bottom and we're going to just cut a curve all the way to the very tip. Okay, then fold the fuzzy sides over together and then we're going to start gluing it up. Now you want to put a pretty good amount of glue in there and just really push it down as you're going along because this is a thicker fabric. You want to make sure that you get it glued all the way up. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to cuff it up two inches from the bottom so that we can have a one inch cuff in the front. So go up two inches and then we're going to glue that in. Okay, then we're going to turn it right side out, and then we're going to make our cuff on the, on the front part. Just go up one inch. And if you have any that are, that's coming out from the back, go ahead and get it glued in. And then we're going to go ahead and glue the cuff down. Okay, next I'm taking two pipe cleaners that are about six inches in length and I'm trying to judge exactly where I want my um, pipe cleaner to be before I glue them in. Just make sure your hat comes all the way down, go ahead and glue them in, but make sure your dress is pulled all the way down before you get that completely glued in. And then bend it over. Next I'm going to make the shoes. I'm just taking two of the little Dollar Tree shoes and I'm going to add two 5 16 inch weights to the bottom of them just to give them some weight. And you can get those at Lowe's or Home Depot. And then I'm just going to glue these to um, some felt just to make the um, sole of the shoe. And then just go ahead and cut those out. And then I'm going to cut about a quarter inch from the edge of the shoe all the way around and that's how I'm going to attach it to my shoe. That way you don't see it. Just go ahead and cut a bunch of slits in it all the way around. And then just start gluing that to the shoe. And you only need to make like quarter inch slits all the way around. And then just start gluing it and pushing it up. And then this will all be hidden by the um, fur that we're getting ready to put on them. Next, I'm taking a little hair noodle that I got at um, Amazon, and I'm cutting it in two-inch lengths. So you can have two of these. And then I'm going to take my sticks. These are um, quarter-inch dowel sticks. I sharpened them, and then I'm going to cut these at three inches each. 
And I'm just cutting, I'm just sharpening them with a pencil sharpener. And then take your miter cutter and just cut those off. And then just go ahead and put them inside of each of those noodles. And then push them all the way down so that the bottom is flat. Next, I'm taking a fat piece of fabric that's five and a half inches wide by one and three quarter inches long, and I'm coming right in the center of it and gluing it to the front part of the shoe. Then go all the way around and glue it all the way down to all the way around to the back. And just try to get as close to the edges of the shoe as you can because we're not going to put a trim around the bottom of it. And then go ahead and start gluing it in. Just put a little bit of glue all the way around the top edge and then just push that on the inside of that shoe. And then do the same thing for the second one. And when you get to the back, um, I didn't say that, but when you get to the back, if you put a little bead along the edge part of one of the seams, and then um, you can start squeezing the little um, fur together and it'll seal it up completely. Just right there and then just kind of squeeze it on up there. Now we're going to do the top part and this is a two and a quarter inch by one and three quarter inches long and just glue it to the very tip top of your noodle. So the bottom of your noodle will hang out the bottom of it but you're not going to see it because that's going to go inside that shoe. Just right up to the edge. And do the same thing on that one. Kind of squeeze it together and then pull the, pull the fur together. Then we're going to go ahead and put some glue inside the shoe and we're going to push our noodle on down inside that shoe. Just push it all the way down until it gets to the bottom. Next, I'm going to take that same ribbon that I used at the bottom of her dress and we're just going to tie two little bows to put onto the front part of that shoe. Just, we're going to glue it right to where those two edges um, meet, from the top part and the bottom part. And try to get your ribbon where the, um, the little logo is facing forward. And we're just going to glue it to the front. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and attach the shoes. I'm just going to evenly space them on both sides and just push them right into your styrofoam. And then make sure she stands up good and then go ahead and pull them back out. We're going to glue them in. And then go ahead and put a little glue on the back part of the dress and glue that down. Next, I'm taking a piece of fabric that's six and a half inches wide by one and a half inches long, and I'm taking two 12 inch pipe cleaners and putting them right at the edge. And we're just going to roll this up. This is going to be the arms. It's all going to be one piece because we're going to put a hand warmer in between. Just make sure that you get that rolled really tightly. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut off about a half inch off of that fabric because it was getting a little bit thick. And I just don't want her arms to be that thick. So go ahead and just cut that off. Or you can just cut your fabric a little bit short before you do it. It just made it a little bit easier to roll it up with a little bit more fabric and then cut off the excess later. So just make sure you get it sealed in there real good. And then next we're going to go ahead and just bend it about an inch and a half in the center. And that's where we're going to put our hand warmer. We're going to take a two, in, a two inch by two inch piece of that same fur and we're just going to wrap it around us. Make sure that your seam ends in the back where the seams on the arms do. And then come up the side edges of it a little bit on both sides and then glue that in. Okay, next we're just going to go ahead and um, fold over the edges and I'm doubling them up over here so I can put this inside of the, of the cone. So fold them over and fold them into each other. 
and kind of twist them a little bit on both sides. And then we're going to go ahead and glue the, the pink part in. Now just make sure that your seam's still in the back. It didn't twist. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stick it up underneath the hat to see exactly where they need to go so that you don't see the arm outside of the hat. And then kind of bend them out a little bit to kind of give her some elbows. And then once you figure out exactly where you want them, go ahead and cut a hole into the pipe cleaner. And we're just going to insert those in there. And I'm just using some pliers to wall around the hole a little bit to make it a little bit easier to go into it. Just make sure that you still have your dress pulled down so that it doesn't bunch up. Okay, then once you get them exactly where you want them, then go ahead and glue them in. We're going to make the pigtails. We're going to cut them three and a half inches long by one and a half inches wide, and we're going to cut two of them. So go ahead and mark off the three and a half inches and come over and mark off the um, one and a half on each side for each one. And then we're going to just cut through the backing of the faux fur only straight down, and we're just going to square these off. And then clean the excess fur off. Next, we're going to do the pink part, and this is a half inch by three and a half inch, and we're cutting two of these, and we're going to put these over the white fur. And then cut those squared off as well. Okay, next, go ahead and put a line down the center of your fur and open it up on both sides so you'll have a center um, spot to put the pink part. And just go ahead and just glue it straight down on top of that white part. And then it'll all start to blend in once we comb it out. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and take the same ribbon again and we're going to tie a pigtail around it. So go ahead and squeeze it together in the back like it's going to be sealed up, but you don't have to glue it and then just tie a bow around there. And do the same thing with the second one, just making sure that those bows are even on both sides. And then trim off any excess. And then we're just going to go ahead and take a straight pin and pin them into the sides there just to make sure before we put our hat on. And then we're also going to do that to figure out exactly where we want our bangs to go. Next, I'm cutting the bangs at three inches wide by one and a quarter inches long. And I am curving the edges of it, kind of like we do with the beard. And then we're taking a half inch um, by three inch to put in the center of, with for the pink. And then just kind of comb that out together to blend it in. Next, we're going to go ahead and take the pins out of the pigtails. And we're going to glue those in. And I'm gluing them just a little bit above where that arm is on both sides. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and put our hat back on and figure out exactly where our bangs need to be. Now, I'm tucking mine up underneath there a pretty good bit. I just wanted them to be a little bit thick. So, I'm probably going about a half inch above where the pigtails are. Just kind of make sure you have enough room for the nose and there's a definite, definite um, separation between that and the hand warmer. And then put your hat back on. And just kind of fan the bangs out a little bit. Just kind of blend them in. Okay, next I'm just going to take my little bead and I'm just taking a little um, 15 millimeter bead, half bead, and I'm just going to glue it right up underneath her, her bangs. You want to be able to still see it, but just kind of put it up there where you can still see the, um, the nose through the bangs. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take another little ribbon and I'm just going to tie it into a bow as well and I'm just going to attach it to her hat. This was a pretty easy gnome. Just, you know, a lot of little steps, but it wasn't hard to put it together.
and just attaching it right there to the side with some glue. Okay, there you have it. She turned out super cute. If you have anybody that you know that is um, being treated for breast cancer or is a breast cancer survivor, this makes an awesome gift for that person. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.